Right. We have one more entrepreneur I'd like to show you. Well, actually two, technically. One of the things that was brought up earlier today, and I'm not sure where it was brought up, I think it was in the two young ladies who were talking about OFID in the beginning, they just touched lightly on it. They talked about a south-to-south -south initiatives. There is a notion in the world that the norm northern hemisphere helps the southern hemisphere, that the norm northern hemisphere provides aid to the southern hemisphere, that it provides development and benefits to it. You know, sometimes the question I think really should be is, how about less aid and more access? One of the biggest challenges that people have is not that they need the aid, but they need the access to the same privileged markets that those who are providing the aid guarantee with very tall trade walls. And sometimes then the question arises, if you're not going to break down the trade barriers that are in the self-interest of many Western nations, maybe you should stop trying and let the South help itself. And therefore, I'm always a huge proponent of anybody who tries to show that they can be not just an entrepreneur, but a South-to-South -South entrepreneur. And we have a case of that. The second thing I think they show is that though we very frequently think that entrepreneurs are young, in truth, they're young at heart. And so I found us some old codgers who are entrepreneurs as well. All right, they didn't really enjoy the fact that I've just called them that, but what can I say? They're also unusual on a lot of levels. And so if you would, we can roll the intro film and we can try to figure out what they're about. 